One, two, one, two, three, four. <laughs> That was an original tune um, by Carter. <laughs> um, so thank you, Carter, for coming on. This is episode five of Licks and Tricks. I'm your host, Ethan Makowick. Today I have Carter from Water Trash, sir. It's good it's to pleasure. have you on. It's a pleasure. A great songwriter, a great guitarist. I'm super excited to dive in. Um, the first thing I want to talk about is that you got a lot of music. You got a lot of songs, a lot of riffs, a lot of cool stuff. I'm going to talk about kind of like the philosophy you have of like writing riffs, like what kind of like scales you're using to write riffs from, like what kind of like rhythms do you like? Or like um like a favorite of mine is uh Elevator. I want to talk about that cuz I think that riff is it's so simple but just like the the feel of it is so good the um Like can you play it for me cuz you do it better. Like that's such a cool riff. Um, Thank you. Like what? What were you thinking about when you wrote that riff? I was thinking about what chord should come next after this one. Yeah. And I was sliding up a little bit. Uh huh. And I found that and one. And you were like, "That's a good one." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should have known better. <laughs> but that's sick. But then, like, when you hit that, like, that low, that low A, just, just like really chunky. Let's see. And um, I really like the. The verse of that song too, because it's like really pretty, and then like that riff comes in and makes it really heavy, and then the chorus is even heavier. So, um, I've learned I learned it a couple days ago because I really wanted to play it, but it's it's really cool because it starts with the, which is a really like melancholy thing to do. Can you play it for me? Yeah. Yes. So like the song's in um in A flat, A flat. So then you go on the four, the four chord, the uh, D flat, and the way he's doing, he goes, he plays it just like a major chord, down in the minor. I've noticed you. I think you do that in another song too. I don't remember which one. You do that kind of thing. I'm not sure. You're not sure. Well, it's a really cool thing. I love that. Um, so like, what was just kind of like, were you trying to do like something kind of sad to start off with? Um, I don't really know what I was trying to do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was just, just I was vibing, bro. <laughs> 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 I was just having fun. Just having fun? Just having fun with my guitar and me. Are there like any, like, do you think of like shapes on the guitar or do you just um, go with entirely by like ear? I, I go entirely by ear. You I'm like, ear. I'm pretty uneducated, uh, when it comes to like theory and whatnot mm -hmm. and yeah like did you find that thing anywhere this or did you just like happen upon it i just happened upon it yeah yeah that's cool and i just love that song because it's like it gets super chuggy like the the chorus to the like that's so cool i just love that thank you so I'm glad you're here, Carter, to talk about. I'm glad I'm here <laughs> too. It's <laughs> <laughs> such a good time. Um, the next thing I want to talk about, um, song-wise, one of my favorite songs is Ellis Feet off of Jazz Feet. And just because it's like so jarring from what you think of Water Trash, and it's like so interesting to hear a band like go in a direction like that. So I understand Ocean was kind of like the lead man. He's sitting over there if he doesn't want to. Hey, what's up, Ocean? He's kind of lead man, and so do you have to like change up your like your guitar style at all to like kind of fit the vibe? Um, I I can't really remember what came first, but uh, pr probably not. It was like our idea for that one was to kind of do a jazzy thing, but mm -hmm. it turned out more funk than anything. Yeah, but uh, 
Yeah, I don't really know. So what? Do you, what's like the? Because I know it's cool. Because um, like you're just hitting one chord like the whole time. You're doing like the yeah the, the F minor seven thing. Can you show us that? And then you do the yeah. So to show what you're doing, he's just doing. But then you then you then you like just hammer on with the yeah up up to two frets. So is it like just the same the same notes? Just like yeah. two frets high. And so and you're only playing the top three strings, right? Is that what yes. You're doing? Okay. So just like because you're that kind of brings me to like my next point because that's a really cool thing just just for the camera just in case I want to see, but it's like just the top three strings. Just like that. Very simple. But it like works because you have a five piece band. So there's like a you don't have a ton of room to maneuver like sound wise. Like how do you kind of fit around like another guitarist, another pianist? Like do you think about that sort of thing? Yeah, it's kind of hard. Uh so but there's like simple things that work. Mm hmm Do you do anything like tone wise to fit into? Uh no, not really. But, but you you guys do have different amps though. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, I we like to keep it like a lot of the time. Uh, Ryan has like a Gibson, and I have a Fender amp, and he has a Vox, and it's just just me tones. meshes well. Yeah, yeah, because you can like um. I hope the SCDC live is up by the time this goes up because the sound is great. The two tones together work really well, and it's fun to hear. Um. Something we could talk about a little bit of lead because I just love your song so much, but uh, it'd be fun. Do you have any like specific licks? Because uh, you do play some lead that you like pulling out. Like what's some uh, stuff you always go for? Um, some stuff. Uh, a lot of our old stuff, I always go back to the E, uh -huh. and then I do this sort of thing, like uh, like a with the with the G string. So I could be playing any chord, like let's say an A. Uh -huh. And then you go back to that E, but don't don't forget the. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I love that. That's like a almost like a Jerry Car Garcia type lick. We talked about that a little bit in, in Noah's looks and tricks, but um, so what he's doing, you just got like your E major. I also noticed you play it like this. You play it with like your pinky. Yeah. Like, I guess so. You don't have to like really change shape. Yeah. It's interesting. It's when you go up. It's just. Yeah, it's right there. Instead of having to like change it up. But then you're just, he's just taking his finger, or he's playing like this, taking his middle finger on it and then hammering on. So that's the minor third up to the major third. Give it a little, a little bluesy country kind of thing. That's dope. And you could put that anywhere. You could do like. anywhere so people can kind of take that run with it that's cool um something i always ask guitars you know for the what the two weeks we've done this show is um <laughs> <laughs> the very short time we've done this show <laughs> but i was stuck to ask it is uh when you get home you had a long day and you just pick up your your geet your axe yeah what's well, kind of like some like stuff you start playing uh, just for fun <laughs> A little bit like that. A little bit like that. Yeah. Some some good old fashioned noodles. Some good noodles. Yeah. So like, uh, what key were you playing in just now? What were you doing? I'm not sure. It's an A. <laughs> doing like kind of like the thing you were doing um LS feet, just like that. Yeah. Like that. Those very like sparse chords and just kind of. I typically never leave the minor pentatonic. Yeah. Yeah. It's a good home. Staying. It's a good. It's a good uh, resting ground. It's like that seems to be like a running theme that like it's kind of like, especially for a lot of guitarists who play rock and roll, because like if you hit a note there, it sounds good. Like you don't have to like really worry about hitting bum notes. That's cool. Um, anything else you want to add, Carter? No. Nah? Can we talk about real quick? We want to talk about the Strat because this Strat's really dope. Do you have any like well, what kind of model is it? Um. It's from the nineties. Uh it's just a Mexican strat. It's pretty cool. It's a Mex it's not a Japanese. Um no, I don't believe so. I may be wrong. I think it, oh it says made in Mexico, I think. Yeah. yeah. That's dope. It sounds really good. 
I got it on Craigslist with my mom, and uh, we were going to this guy's house to pick it up, and uh-huh. he brought us into his attic Ooh. to uh, pick it up, and good thing he was a really nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and he got a sweet guitar out of yep. it. <laughs> uh, and you don't use a tremolo or anything. I see it's not on no. there. You just keep it straight. Don't like any out of tune. Nope. All right, that's sick. Well, Carter, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, thank you for having me. It's been a me. pleasure, man. Check out Water Trash's uh, new album, Pleasure Palace, right? Yep. It's coming out February 21st. Yeah, check them out. Sick band. Uh, All right. Nice. That was a good one. That was-